G'day, this is Captain Ubin, and in this video I'm going to be redeeming all of my script that I've acquired on Murmur's Mystery Pick, which is 65 script for a random 3-star item. Could be armor, could be a melee weapon, could be a ranged weapon, so interested to see what um, Murmur's got for me. This mechanic was actually originally introduced um, when Murmur was first advertised. Do you remember that image where I had Murmur's Mystery Pick under there? But it's only reached the surface now. They tried to put it out a little bit earlier during the year, but it kind of broke everything, so they gave us a script discount instead. But now they've finally got around to fixing it, and we can um, we can go and buy the Mystery Pick from her. It, wow, it's 60 script. I thought it was 65. Even better. So like always, I'm going to be describing these in one word. Hopefully. Let's see how long that lasts. No. Bad. Crap. Garbage. Poop. No. Why? Eh. Bad. Worthless. Useless. Interesting. Excellent. Meh. Bad. No. Oh, okay, we're out. Well, I'm gonna chuck some more script in this, and then we can get going on grabbing more. Okay, that gives us a bit more, so we can get at least two more out of this. Eh. Uh, no. Okay. Well, not a terrible start there. I think the highlight of that group was definitely the Junkies Explosive Minigun. Nice. I like that one. That one might be coming up soon. Anyways, uh, that's winter done. Let's move on to the next character. Okay, it's Tinkerbell's turn. Let's see what Murma has in store for us. Here we go. Thousand script. Mystery pick. No. Stop. No. Why? Crap. Garbage. Shit. Terrible. Bad. No. Why? Good. Nah. Eh. Decent. No. And that's it. Okay. Alright. Gives us room for two more. Let's see what we get. No. And terrible. Really bad run there. But again, a JE. Looks like Junkies is in the mix right now, because I'm getting a couple of Junkies. So maybe a Junkies 44 Magnum and perhaps this. The Junkie Swing Speed Bone Club. That might be the picks from this. Instigating Double Barrel isn't terrible. The extra reload speed is actually quite useful in that. Limb damage might sync well with uh, Enforcer, so... I don't know, it might be worth using, not really sure. The rest of this is trash. Let's, uh, let's, uh, move on. Okay, Gunslinger's back, and confession time. I don't actually have a thousand script on all of my characters. I've got about over 900 for the rest of them. As you can tell, I've got enough, almost enough script here to finish it off. But, you know, this Murmur mystery pick won't last until tomorrow, so... What we've got here is what we've got, so let's just see what happens. No. Bad. Nah. Meh. Ugh. No. Stop it. Nah. Garbage. Crap. No. Nah. Waste. Worthless. And one more. And it is more scriptware. Wow, we literally got nothing of note here. The pick from this one probably might be the Vampire's um, Ultra Psych Gatling Laser, but bash damage. God damn bash damage. That could have been just about anything else and it would have been better. Oh, well, well, there we go. That's, that's it for Brooke. Let's move on. Okay, here's Combat Medic Harley. She hasn't got a thousand script either, so... We've got a little bit more than last time. Let's see what we can pull. Hmm. Yeah. No. Crap. Crap. Garbage. Eh? Nah. 
Nope. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. Interesting. No. Queen. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's it. Wow, we're one script short. That's that's the biggest cock block ever. All right, let's see what we got out of this thing, shall we? So, um, couple of highlights. This, no, no, not that. Yeah, this. There we go. Um, possibly not the worst weapon out there for queen farming. The 25% less VATS action point cost might actually help you put VATS criticals on the queen. Not that many heavy builds are made for that. This has damage potential, but it's a super sledge, so it's kind of dumb. And this is not terrible at all. 33% VATS hit chance. If you're a, you know, a rifleman, sniper, using VATS, it actually might be a decent option, but... Yeah, nothing too great in here. Um, I've got a medic's fire rate fix from this character. That's pretty good. I didn't get that from Murma, though. Okay, last but not least is Becker. And if you're wondering why I haven't grinded out a bunch of presents to, you know, get the script, I spent 10,000 caps on 14 presents I made out of it and got 25 script out of it. So I quickly learned that that was an inefficient way of getting script. So... What we have is what we get. Let's just roll with it. So this one's got 935, which is not terrible, but let's see what we can grab. No. Bad. Terrible. Eh. Excellent. Nah. Nah. Stop. Eh. No. Nope. Bad. Terrible. Nah. One more. And we get a suppressor's shish kebab, which is... Pfft, no thank you. Alright, so obviously the biggest highlight out of this was a BE 10 mil sub. Very nice. The one I have on Winter doesn't have that extra VATS critical meter filling 15% faster, I don't think. Or maybe it does, I can't actually remember. I think it was a two-star, but yeah. That's probably the best weapon that I've grabbed out of this whole entire script dump. And the rest of it, I mean, maybe this. I'm not really keen on um, that stuff with a Gatling laser. You might be able to get away with it if you're using a charging barrel, perhaps. That might be worth it. Might have to try that. I don't even know the charging barrel is... Well, it's, it's garbage. It's not that good. But anyways, so... There you have it. I'm going to calculate exactly how many weapons I've uh, scripted or redeemed doing the, during this. And if it's six, if it's 76, I was aiming for 76 because I'm playing for that 76. But if it isn't, I'll come back on other characters and quickly finish that off, hopefully. Okay, I've just counted up everything and I got 81. So I'm just going to say I, I redeemed 80 mystery bags and then got like one or two things that was useful but that's kind of the strike rate with Burma. I feel like they need to improve this like I don't I wouldn't mind spending like hundreds of hundreds of script of getting exactly what I need I feel like that would be nice like between all of my five characters spending a thousand script on god roll unyielding armor like I wouldn't mind farming for that that, that would be really good but maybe I should compile a list of changes I'd like to see Fallout 76 make in the new year. Maybe that would be interesting, but I definitely changed stuff about Murmur. This RNG on RNG nonsense is, uh, well, it's good for keeping players around, I understand, but if players had more control over exactly what drops and exactly what they want to get, I feel like this game would be a lot more fun. You can actually run around using completely optimized gear and just wreck everything like you're wanting to be because, you know, I am kind of need more unyielding armor for winter, the better stuff. But anyways, um, uh, what did you get? Did you get anything good? Probably got better stuff than me except for my BE 10 mil sub. But anyways, I think that's about it for me. Thank you very much for watching, guys.